Hello my ADHD kitties. It's time to do some math again and this video is just for you. Today we're going to be solving quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. It's part of the Algebra 1 curriculum and it's not so bad once we go through it step by step. Step 1 is going to be identifying the letters A, B, and C. Then you're going to plug them into the formula. Step 3 is to solve and step four is to solve too, but we'll see what that looks like. So starting off up here in the top is a quadratic written in standard form. And that is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. And we've solved these before, and now we're going to use the quadratic formula to figure out what is x. So looking at this now, the bottom one is a equation that we're going to solve for x. And it looks a little bit different, but it's color coded. 3x squared plus 2x plus 15 equals 0. And one of the strategies that we'd like to use, of course, is circling. So we want to try and find out what a equals. So I'm going to circle a on the top and three on the bottom. Over here for the B term, I'm going to circle the B and then the two below it. And then I bet you know that C is going to circle the C and the 15. So trying to figure out what A equals, A equals the same thing as the term below it. So A equals 3. If you look at b, b equals 2. And I bet that you can guess c is on the top and 15 is on the bottom. So c equals 15. And that is the first step, identifying what is a, what is b, and what is c. This is our second example on how to identify the coefficients or the letters in our quadratic equations. So if you look at our top one, you can see that it is written in standard form, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. And now we have our equation below that, which is 16x squared plus 23x plus 1 equals 0. So we're going to draw our circles. So I have the red circle over the A and the 16. I have the blue circle around B and 23. And I have my purple circle around C and 1. So I'm going to give you one minute think time, and then I want you to write down what you think A equals, what does B equal, and what does C equal. Okay, that wasn't a minute, <laughs> but I think you get the idea. So if you look over here, here's your A, and below the A is 16. So 16 is inside the circle with the A, so that's how you know that it is 16. Going to the next one with the blue, you can see that B is on the top and 23 is on the bottom. So B equals 23. And then our last one here in purple is our C. And that matches up with the 1. 
So A equals 16, B equals 23, and C equals 1. So next one we're going to do entirely in black. And let's see how you can do. The strategy is going to be circle the red for A, circle the B, and then circle the C. So here's our next example, and you can see that it's all written in black. So the standard form is on the top here, and it is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, just like we did before. So this time, you'll have to remember that you are going to circle a and the number that is below it. Now I've got my blue, and I'm going to circle the B and the number below it. And then I've got my trusty purple, so I'm going to circle the C and the number below it, which is 23. So now we're going to look over here, and A equals 9. So just going to take the top letter and the bottom number. So the next one, B, and then the 4 is below it. So B equals 4. And then we have the purple. C is on top and 23 is on the bottom. So C equals 23. And that is that. So looking at this problem, you can also see that everything is written in black. And this time you're going to do it on your own. And it's just practice. So if you look here on the top, you can see that, yes, once again, ugh. yes, once again, it is written in standard form. And standard form is AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. So at this point, what I'm going to say is I'm going to ask you to figure out what is A, what is B, and what is C. I'm going to give you one minute to solve it, and that means you get to use your whole minute. You have extended time, which means you have time to do your work, check your work, and double check your work. So here we go, one minute. Five seconds. Okay, here we go, really quick. Circle the A in the 97. Circle the B and the 14. And circle the C, which is not. If you did not get that, Send me a message on Google Hangouts, and I'll explain it to you. Okay, so if you take a look here, you can see that the quadratic formula is written down here. So you don't have to copy it down right now. Just look at the screen. So the first thing that you'll notice is, whoops, the first thing that you'll notice is, 
that there are a's here, just like when we solve for a and we tried to figure out what that was by drawing a circle. Then we have the b, which is here and here and here. And then you have c, which is here and here. So if you look at the bottom part there, you can see that this actually is what we talked about on every single problem that we went over. And that is that this one is written in standard form. You figure out what A, B, and what A is, what B is, and what C is, and then you can solve for X. So the whole goal here is to solve for X. Okay, so this is the first time we have a problem here that we're going to work on setting up the quadratic formula. So if you look on the top here, you have 2x squared plus 5x plus 3 equals 0. So if you notice, this time the a is in green because over here the a is green. Over here, the B is blue because over here, the B is blue. And yeah, I'm sure you figured it out. Over here, the C is purple because over here, the C is purple. That looks a little better. So, this is the way it goes. And just watch. Remember, the first thing you do is watch. And then we'll ask questions at the end. So over here in black, you have x equals, and you have the minus sign in black, then b, which is 5. And here we go, plus or minus. And that's going to be tricky, but we're going to go over it alone. And then do the square root of b. Whoops, B is in blue, so B is 5, and then we're going to square it, minus 4A, which is 2, C, which is 3. Okay. So, here we go. C is 3. If you look across on the bottom here, it's 2 and A, which is in green. So all of that hot mess is what you're going to use to solve for X. So, what you want to be mindful of is that getting the numbers over here is only the first step. The second step is setting up the equation, and then the third step is going to be solving the equation for x. So, this video is really long, so I'm going to cut it off here and then make a second video for how do you solve this mess using the quadratic formula.